Hello class, this is the video lesson for what is a theory. The learning intention for this lesson is, I am learning that a theory is based on natural and physical phenomena and can be tested by multiple researchers. The success criteria for this lesson are, I can understand a theory is based on natural and physical phenomena. I can understand a theory can be tested by multiple researchers. I can understand a theory is a highly reliable explanation, and I can recognize that theories can change. Theories are based on natural and physical phenomena. So what is a phenomenon? A phenomenon is an occurrence made in the natural or human-made world. So anything that happens, basically. And what do phenomena do? So they cause us to wonder and ask questions. So anything that we see in the natural world or the human-made world that causes us to wonder what happens and ask uh, and makes us ask questions. What is that? How does it happen? A hypothesis becomes a theory when it can be tested by multiple independent researchers. So multiple researchers, many different scientists, and many different labs testing the same, basically doing the same thing. So multiple tests. So we have all these multiple researchers all running the same experiment or variations on an experiment and all getting the same or very similar results. So when a, an hypothesis can be tested by multiple researchers all running the same experiment or basically the same experiment and getting the same results or very similar results, that is when a hypothesis can become a theory. Theories provide highly reliable explanations. So a theory is shown over and over again to reliably explain the phenomenon that it's explaining. So a, a theory gives us predictions that can be verified. For example, Einstein's theory of relativity gave predictions about the way light bends around stars and that theory was tested um, early on by during a solar eclipse. The uh, moon went in front of the sun. It creates an opportunity for scientists to look at stars that are usually behind the sun, and they could see the bending of the light from those stars around the sun because of the sun's gravity. And hypotheses or uh, theories can be tested in different ways. So the theory of evolution, for example, has lots of lines of evidence, uh, lots of different tests showing that that uh, evolution is um, is accurate. So theories can always change if new lines of evidence uh, arise. So even the most well-backed theory can change if new science or new technology comes along. And a theory of this, or an example of this is Newton's law of gravity versus Einstein's relativity. So Newton's law of gravity explains gravity really, really well for most purposes, but it doesn't explain Mercury's um, orbit around the sun, for example. But Einstein's relativity does explain Mercury's orbit around the sun. So Einstein's relativity is really a better explanation for gravity than Newton's law of gravity. But Newton's law of gravity is kind of inside um, Einstein's relativity. So we use Newton's law of gravity uh, most of the time for most cases, and then for a certain uh, cases where uh, Newton's law of gravity breaks down, we, we introduce Einstein's relativity. All right, everybody, keep asking questions. It's how you learn new things.